Hello, and welcome back to my channel. Um, thank you for being here. I know the lighting is terrible right now, um, and I'm, I'm doing the best I can here, so I apologize for that. But um, today we're going to talk about my TBR, um, basically when I want to try to read before the end of the year. And a fun fact is that I moved from the place I lived for five years, um, or almost five years, in May. And I moved to a new place and I moved to temporary housing because I had a seasonal job. And so I, A, didn't have a lot of space and B, was going to be moving again kind of in the short term. And so I had to go through the painful process of going through all of my books and deciding what I was going to bring with me for the summer versus not. Um, I brought a bunch of books home to where my parents live, and then I stored a bunch of my books um, at a friend's house um, who lived, who lives kind of near um, where I was moving for work. Um, so now I am moving into a place next week where I'm going to be more long term, and I'm house sitting and Dewey, come here. I'm house sitting and dog sitting. Do we say hi to the camera? No. He won't say hi to the camera. Anyway, I'm house sitting and dog sitting for the friend who... Oh, there you are. Um, I'm house sitting and dog sitting for the friend um, where I stored all my books. And so I have this. Two boxes and a bag. I don't know if you can see that of books that I left here in May, and I don't really remember everything that I stored here. I'm going to open these boxes up together, and I'm going to remember what I stored here and figure out kind of my hierarchy of things that I want to read um, before the end of the year. Um, so let's open things up and see what we've got. Um, this box on top is literally like springing open. It's so full. So we'll start with this. We're going to start with Finding the Mother Tree by Suzanne Simard. Um, I am very excited to read this book. This was a gift from my aunt, um, but it's probably not going to be happening before the end of the year. They Can't Kill Us Till They Kill Us. Um, this is a book of essays that I've had for a while and that I'm really excited to read. So this is on my TBR before the end of the year. I hope I can get to it. Similarly, Ann Carson's um, Autobiography of Red. I'm really excited to get to this. I actually thought I had brought this with me for the summer and was disappointed to find that I hadn't. So this is definitely on my TBR for the end of the year. Great Circle by Maggie Shipstead. Um, this is a book that I acquired right before I moved. I'd had it out from the library multiple times and hadn't been able to get through it um, before it was due again. So I'm really excited to get to this. It's probably not going to happen before the end of the year. City of Brass, um, very well, a very popular fantasy book. I am kind of in a fantasy mood right now, so I think this is probably going to be read before the end of the year, and I'm excited to dive into it. Um, when I Was Red Clay, this is by a queer person who grew up in the Mormon church, and it's very much about um, his experience with that and also um, his relationship to the land in southern Utah. And Utah is where I grew up, and so... I'm really excited to get to this. I hope I can read it before the end of the year. It's not like number one on my TBR, but I am really excited to get to it. Next up, we have my prized copy of Catch-22. This is a first edition um, that I found at a used bookstore, and I love it. I have not read it, and I probably am not going to read it before the end of the year, but I will someday. Next up, we've got Lunch Poems by Frank O'Hara. I was also looking for this all summer, and I've read part some of these, but not all of them, and I would like to read this or finish reading it before the end of the year. Next up, we've got Dune. I've read this. The Pagan Book of Days. <laughs> this is more of a reference book. It's literally um, a book of every day of the year um, with whatever pagan holidays um, happen to fall on that day. Today is October 5th, um, Mania. On the second day of Mania, 
the mundus, or the passage to the underworld, was believed to be open, allowing the passage of our spirits up into our middle world and the journeys of shamans down into the underworld and back. It is a festival in which departed ancestors are remembered. Roman. How you know. Next up, I've got The Buried Giant by Kasura Ishiguro. I do really want to read this before the end of the year. This has been on my TBR list for a while. This is Pastoral Song by James Rebanks. Um, it's a book about being a shepherd in northern England and kind of the pastoral history of that area and how it is being forgotten. Um, I read his first book called uh, Shepherd's Life, and I loved it. I haven't read this one yet. I probably am not going to read it before the end of the year. The Freezer Door. I don't know anything about this book other than it's queer, um, and it was written by someone who lives in Seattle, and I bought it last year, and I would like to read it before the end of the year. My TBR is already longer than I will have time to read. Man, I forgot I had some of these books. Next up we have Time Shelter. This was the winner of the International Booker Prize um, for 2023, I believe. Um, I actually bought this this summer and then forgot it at my friend's house. Um, I am really excited to read this, so yeah. Uh, Braiding Sweetgrass by Robin Wall Kimmerer. I have read parts of this, but not all the way through it. I read some of it for classes um, and for reference. Haven't finished it or haven't read it front to back and probably won't before the end of the year. Um, but I do love this book. I really love what I have read of it. Winter Recipes for the Collective by Louise Gluck. This is a poetry collection that I have actually already read. Saramago's Blindness and I have not read it yet, and I would like to, but I probably won't. Year of the Monkey by Patti Smith. I picked this up at a, like, free library, and I probably am not going to read it before the end of the year, but I do like Patti Smith's writing. Seeds. It's a book about seeds. I've read this. The Left Hand of Darkness by Le Guin. I really want to read this book, um, and I hopefully will read it before the end of the year. This is high up on my TBR. Um, this is The Ghost Road. It's the third book in the Regeneration Trilogy by Pat Barker, which is a trilogy of books about World War I. Um, I read the first two this year, and I do really want to read this one um, before the end of the year, so I can say I've completed the trilogy this year. Cloud Cuckoo Land. Um, this is a fat boy, and I'm excited to read this book, but for some reason it's just like never the one I want to pick up when I'm picking up a new book to read. Um, and so my guess is that I'm not going to finish it before the end of the year. This is The Fifth Wound. Um, my friend gave this to me before I moved. I don't really know what it's about. Probably not going to read it before the end of the year. The Wizard Heir. I don't know why I own this book. Uh, it's the second or third book in a YA fantasy series that I read when I was a young adult. I don't even know where I got this because I never owned them when I was a kid. Um, I should probably get rid of it. A History of God. This is a great book on the history of the Judeo-Christian God. Um, I've read it. I was actually wondering where this had gone also. Mary Oliver's Collected Poems. Read this. Love this book. Love Mary Oliver. Um, this is Food from the Radical Center um, by Gary Paul Nabin, a great ethnobotanist who I really enjoy the work of. I have not read this book. I need to read this actually before the end of the year because it is pertinent to um, graduate school and some scholarships I'm applying for. So I'm glad I found it. I This was another one I meant to bring with me and didn't. East of Eden. This is one of my favorite books. I've read it. The Sound of a Wild Snail Eating. Oh, I'm glad I found this too. This is a Christmas present for my mom. Notes of a Crocodile. Um, and I've been wanting to read it ever since I bought it. And it's another one where it just never seems to be the thing that I'm in the mood for when I'm picking up a new book. But I would like to read this before the end of the year. Oh my god. <laughs> Brothers Karamazov. I like Dostoevsky a lot. Um, 
and I've been trying to read this book literally since January. Um, I started it a couple different times. I think I made it like maybe 70 pages in. Um, and then I didn't end up bringing it with me this summer. And now I just am kind of dreading it. It was, it was rough to get through the first 70 pages, I remember. Um, but I still really want to read it, but I don't know if it's going to happen before the end of the year. Postcolonial Love Poem, great poetry book. I've read this. Orlando by Virginia Woolf. This is another one that I've tried to read multiple times and have not gotten through. Um, I really want to, but yeah, it just hasn't happened yet. Maybe it'll happen. It's not going to happen before the end of the year. Call Them By Their True Names, um, Rebecca Solnit. I've read this already. The word for woman is wilderness. Um, despite what this book looks like, which is uh, completely wrecked, I have not read this, and I really want to. I it, It's wrecked because I brought it with me on so many different trips, including backpacking trips. Um, I would like to read this before the end of the year because it's been on my list for so long, and I know I'm going to really like it. Um, I just haven't. Haven't made it through yet, so yeah. Modern Nature by Derek Jarman. Um, I would like to read this before the end of the year. Um, Frankenstein in Baghdad. It's another one that's kind of beat up a little bit because I've brought it a lot of places intending to read it and just haven't gotten around to it. And honestly, it's not on my number one next up list, so it's probably not going to happen <laughs> before the end of the year. Um, this is a really cool old edition of Big Rock Candy Mountain by Wallace Stegner. Um, I really like Stegner. Probably not going to read this before the end of the year. To Be Taught If Fortunate by Becky Chambers. Um, I This was given to me by a friend who's like, this is my favorite book ever. Um, and maybe I will read it. It's pretty short. I might get around to it before the end of the year. Uh, Terry Tempest Williams, Finding Beauty in a Broken World. I've read parts of this book as well, um, but not all the way through. Probably not going to get to it all the way through before the end of the year. Fight to the Finish. This is a month-by-month -month breakdown of World War One. I. I have read... It's more of a reference book, so I haven't read it cover to cover, but it's not really... I'm not going to read it cover to cover. It's a reference book. I Who Have Never Known Men! Ah, oh, that's where this book went. Um, okay. I have been looking for this. I do really want to read this before the end of the year. I'm very intrigued by it. Um, so this is definitely on my TBR. Okay, that's the first box. Empty. Oof. Um, let's do this overflowing bag next. <laughs> um, oh god, okay. This is How to Connect by Thich Nhat Hanh. Um, I've read other works by him, but I haven't read this one. This is also one that's like not really meant to be read cover to cover in a sitting. It's like a collection of practices and meditations. Um, and it's not really, no, it's not on my TBR list. <laughs> this is a quarterly uh, creative writing publication um, that I have poems in, and I have read this. Hatfield's Herbal. I love this book. I've been looking for this book too. Um, this is a herbal, so it's like a, it's a reference book. I have not read it cover to cover. I won't be reading it cover to cover. Very cool book though, if you're into plants. Sacred Instructions, um, Indigenous Wisdom for Living Spirit-Based Change. This is something that I have not read, um, and I would like to read it. I don't think it's going to happen before the end of the year, but it is very much something I'd like to read next year. We've got A Storm in Flanders, we've got um, The Great War in Modern Memory, and we've got A World Undone. Um, I haven't read this, I've read these two. This is actually a really good book, I gave it five stars. This is more about the effect of World War One on culture and on writing and on language itself. Really fascinating. Um, the other two, I mean, they're reference books. I've read bits of this, I've read parts of it, I haven't read it cover to cover. Um, you might be wondering, <laughs> why do I have so many books on World War I? Um, I was doing a project on World War I that required a lot of research, so that's why I have so many. Ah, oh, Nona the Ninth. Um, I do want to read this before the end of the year. Uh, this was another one I kept getting out from the library and could not finish in the time before it was due, so I, I bought a copy when it came out on paperback. And then I brought it here. Um, 
but I do want to read this soon. This actually might be the next book I pick up after I finish what I'm reading right now. Yeah. Crime and Punishment. Speaking of Dostoevsky, I've read this. I like this book. Oh, if not Winter, Fag Fragments of Sappho. I love this book. I love Sappho. Um, I have read this already. Medea, just a random Greek play thrown in here. I've read this already. I Was Born for This by Alice Osman. I've read this. The Fifth Harry Potter. Wolf Song by TJ Clinton. <laughs> I've read this. Um, this book and the other books in this series, I'm thinking about doing like a, uh, a recap of them on this channel. Let me know if you'd be interested in that because there's a lot to say. Pieces Every Step, another Tic Tac Pawn. Um, I like this book. I've read it. It means a lot to me. Ovid's Metamorphosis. I have this mostly for reference. Um, and then Wake Siren, which is a book that I've read some of and didn't finish. Um, it's like kind of short stories that end up being connected, but it is sort of a retelling of the Metamorphosis, um, which is why I have this. I might go back to this this year. I don't. A Memory Called Empire. Um, this won the Hugo Award in 2020. It's sci-fi. That's all I really know about it. I do want to read this soon. It might be... It actually might be something I read really soon. So it's very much on my to-be-read list. Um, the Light Pirate. This is another book that I really want to read soon. Definitely on my TBR list. Hopefully for this month. The Deloriad. Um, this is a book I've had for a while as well and that I really also want to read soon. So this is also, I think, something I'd like to read in October. So that's three, ooh, four actually. Where's Nona? Here's four books that I would like to read this month. Very short term TBR. This is Close to the Knives. Um, I haven't read this, but it's probably not gonna be read before the end of the year. This is the Iliad, I've read it. The Penguin Books Book of Classical Myths. This is a reference book. I, I will not be reading this cover to cover, but it is a very good Greek myth reference book if you're in the market for one. Tomb of Stand. Um, this is a book I've been excited to read for a long time, but haven't gotten around to and probably won't before the end of the year. A Marvelous Light by Fran Marsk. Um, one of my favorite recent fantasies. I really like this book. I've read it. I am very much looking forward to the third book in this series coming out later this year, I think in November. Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. This is another um, of my favorite recent fantasy reads, and I have read it, so I don't need to put it on a TBR. Um, Crystal Wolf's Cassandra. I would like to read this before the end of the year. This has been on my TBR for a long time. My Volcano. Um, this was gifted to me, and I've tried to start reading it more than once and could not get through it. So I don't think it's going to happen before the end of the year. It's, like, not something that I really am dying to read. But, um, I do still want to read it and finish it. It just isn't in the cards, I think, for right now. Kafka on the Shore. One of my, I think this is my favorite Murakami book. I've read it multiple times. Oh my god. The God Emperor of Dune. Um, I love Dune. I read the first three in quick succession a few years ago, and then I tried to read this one, and the 4,000 year time skip was a little rough. <laughs> so I haven't picked it back up again, and I'm, I know myself, I'm not going to read this before the end of the year. But I will read it eventually. I do want to read all of the original uh, Frank Herbert books, but just not right now. The Open Veins of Latin America. This is a book about colonialism. It's really good. I've read it. This is like a little, uh, this isn't even a book. This is like a little zine magazine publication about cooks and cooking. Wendell Berry's The Unsettling of America. I have, baby, I have a signed copy, which is sweet. I like Wendell Berry. My background is in organic farming, so of course I like Wendell Berry. I read this book. Land Justice. I would, actually, I do need to revisit this, um, again, for some grad school stuff and some grants. Um, 
This is a great book, though, if you're into farming or land management or um, traditional agroecological knowledge. This is a really cool book. This is the Orvis Guide to Beginner Fly Fishing. Um, this is a reference book. You and I Eat the Same. This is a really great book about uh, food culture and kind of the way that food can bring humanity together. I've read this book. I love this book. I recommend this book. <laughs> this is the, uh, this is a giant book on tarot. Uh, I've got a pile of Whetstone magazines, which is a magazine on food and culture. Um, again, my background is in organic farming and food activism, so that's why I have all of these books. And I'm hoping to grow to grad school for that soon, so that's why I have all of these books. I hope we choose love. Oh, this is a great book. Um, I read this. It's a very good book. And The Book of Delights by Ross Gay. This is probably in my top 10 favorite books ever. Um, I love this book. I want you to read this book. It will make your life better if you do. Animal Vegetable Miracle by Barbara Kingsolver. This is also one of my favorite books. Um, very important to me in my development of my interests. Um, I've read it many times. <laughs> I won't be reading it before the end of the year. The Theban Plays. I've read these. This is Evelyn Waugh's Put Out More Flags. I don't know anything about this book and I haven't read it and I don't think I'm going to read it. I think I have this book because a friend of mine bought it for me um, from Shakespeare and Company in Paris. I should check that. Is that true? Yeah. There it is. That's why I have it, but I haven't read it. <laughs> this is the do-it-yourself guide to fighting the big mother um, This is a zine. I've read it. <laughs> it's a great one. It's, it's funny. Walt Whitman's, we Walt Whitman's Weeds of Grass. <laughs> anyway, I've read this. Lovely. I like Walt Whitman a lot. Problematic Fave, Edward Abbey's Desert Solitaire. Um, another book that was very important to me in my kind of development as a young adult. Um, in retrospect, lots of issues with it, but I will never get rid of this copy. As you can see, well-loved important to me. Wuthering Heights, haven't read it, won't be reading it before the end of the year. The Room of One's Own, I have read this. The Secret History by Donna Tartt, I love this edition. It's one of the Penguin classics. Um, I've read this already. The Wild Places by Robert McFarlane, this is a really good book about finding wild places in um, the British Isles. And I have read this already. I have been thinking about rereading it. I would like to reread it soon. I don't know if it'll be this year or not, because I kind of have enough to be working with. I don't know if you've noticed. The Great Believers by Rebecca Mackay. Haven't read it. Probably won't before the end of the year. Upstream by Mary Oliver. Love this book. I've read it. Erosion by Terry Tempest Williams. I've read it. The Master and Margarita by Bulgakov. This is another one of my all-time favorite books. Um, I've read it more than once. This is a really cool edition. Um, I do want to read, read this soon, but probably not now. The Voice of the Fish. I would like to read this before the end of the year. Um, this is high up on my list. Oranges are not the only fruit. I would also like to read this before the end of the year. This has been on my list for a long time. This is a pretty short book as is this, so I'll probably get around to these pretty easily. My Year of Meats by Ruth Zecchi. I have not read any Ruth Zecchi, and I really want to. Um, will I get around to it this year? Probably not. Just by looking at him, um, this has been on my list for a long time as well. I've heard really good things about this book, and I would like to get to it before the end of the year. John Wyndham, The Chrysalids, another one of my favorite books of all time. I've read this multiple times. The Discomfort of Evening. Um, I don't remember where I heard of this book. It was an International Booker Prize a couple years ago. Not a winner, but shortlisted. And um, I would like to read this before the end of the year, too. I know that it's, like, creepy and weird, so I kind of want to read it this month. Seems like a good October read. But not least, I'll tell you... I... I tell you... <laughs> Italio Calvino's um, If on a Winter's Night, A Traveler. 
haven't read it, would like to, probably not going to get to it before the end of the year. So, that's box two empty. And that's me with a really fun pile of books. So, for those of you who were counting, that leaves me with a towering stack of, oh god, 24 books <laughs> on my TBR before the end of the year, which is definitely a doable number of books for me. Um, I read usually around 8 to 10 books a month, sometimes more, and I tend to read more in the winter than I do in the summer, especially because my job goes from being full-time to not full-time. Um, so I might be able to achieve it. As you can see, um, just by this short little foray, not very short little foray, I have a lot of books that I haven't read, and I have the problem that I think many of us have, which is just that I just keep buying new books. And I, I do read a lot, but I cannot read fast enough to keep up with my book buying pace. Not to mention all the books I get from the library whenever I walk in there because it's too tempting. And then the books from the library always rise to the top of the TBR because you have to return them soon. And it just keeps building and building and building. Um, yeah, there's nothing to be done, I don't think. I think this is just the rest of my life. And there are worse problems than to be buried in piles of books, aren't there? I think so.